Future World is a global business and technology think tank, and for the last nearly 20 years now, we've helped hundreds of organizations, mainly big companies, but also some governments and government organizations around the world, do three things. Number one, understand the context within which your business is going to operate in the future. And once you've done that, then design the kind of future that you want for your organization. And then, of course, the third step is implementation. Go out and create that future. You know, we're afraid of change. It's true. We all know the world is going to change. We all know we have to change. And yet we'd actually prefer things to stay the way they were. We'd like things to be predictable. And of course, the last couple of years in particular have taught us that the world is anything but predictable. It's not enough to ask the question, what do we know about the future? It's not even enough to ask the question, what is it that we don't know? We have to ask ourselves the rather strange question, what is it that we don't know that we don't know about the future? And these are the people who can tell you 27 good reasons why nothing will ever work. They will say to you, oh, no, we tried that three years ago, it's not going to work. No, 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 the CEO will never buy that idea. You'll never get the funds for that. The board won't approve that. You've all got those kinds of people. And if you do have them in your organization, here's a little bit of free advice. Identify them, isolate them, and get rid of them. They suck the air from the room. They add no value to the marketplace. Aha. <laughs> That's touched a nerve somewhere. <laughs> I want to suggest to you, before I leave, that all of us in this room are facing a wave just as big as the one we've just seen. We're facing a wave of change that's going to rewrite the rules of our industry, that's going to rewrite the rules of our world, that's going to rewrite the ways that we live. And we have two choices. We can either grab onto everything that we can and run for the hills and hide and wait until the wave goes past, if it does, or we can get on our surfboards and prepare for the wildest ride of our lives. The choice is yours.